from the Rangers Training Centre. Beautiful evening here in Scotland. And just a couple of minutes to go until kickoff here as Chelsea continue their preparations for the start of the new WSL season. The Blues kicking off on the 5th of September against Arsenal, so not too far away now. Still missing plenty of key names who've been on Olympic duty, but it's a pretty strong team that Emma Hayes has named tonight. It's going to be interesting to test themselves against opposition from Scotland. You might have joined us a couple of weeks ago for the friendly at the Emirates against Arsenal. If not, this is what you missed. It was a thoroughly entertaining game. Chelsea ended up on the wrong side of a 2-1 defeat. Katie McCabe put Arsenal ahead. This is at the time when both sides had their strongest available 11s out. But around about the aisle mark, it was all changed. Chelsea and Arsenal making nine substitutions each. It effectively became an under-23s game at that point. And actually, it was much more entertaining with those players on the pitch. One of them, Rihanna Blades, absolutely stunning solo goal that she got to draw Chelsea level. But unfortunately for the Young Blues, that parity did not last for very long. How about this from Blades? They picked the ball up inside her own half and then just ran and ran and ran and had the quality to find the finish as well. If that was a good goal, the one that won it for Arsenal was equally as impressive. It was Freya Jupp who had the honour of getting what proved to be the decisive goal of the game. No chance for Anne Katrinberger in the Chelsea goal there. So that familiar opposition in Arsenal, Chelsea Tonight, in uncharted waters, playing Glasgow Rangers. They have already had a competitive game this season, have Rangers. They won 8-0 in the Scottish Cup against Queen's Park. Former Chelsea captain and icon Katie Chapman's alongside me to hopefully enjoy this evening's game. What's Emma Hayes going to be looking to get out of, of this match in particular, do you think, Katie? I think obviously it's a pre-season game. She's got more options back again tonight, so a stronger team than she had in previous games. Um, I think it's going to be a tough challenge. I think um, Rangers are going to be physically strong. They really, really work hard. Um, it'll be interesting, actually, to see where they stand. Yeah, I think, think they're a little bit further along in terms of their fitness, but in terms of quality, Chelsea's squad is stacked with that. And that's Brianna Westrup we just saw there, the Rangers captain. A few familiar names in their lineup. Chelsea wearing the new yellow change kit tonight. Perfect evening for football. It's sold out as well. Around about 400 supporters in the house to see this one. Rangers boss Malky Thompson talking before kickoff about what a good test this will be for his squad to see where they are. They finished third in the SWPL last season behind the champions Glasgow City really. The the long-established team in Scottish women's football there, aren't they? We know them from Champions League campaigns past. Rangers trying to play catch-up. Yeah, absolutely. They are a strong team. Um, and you've always known, yeah, Glasgow City. I mean, we played them, yeah, in, in Champions League games and they're up there at that standard. So it'd be interesting to see this team play tonight and see, yeah, where they fare to them too. Let's have a look at who's in the Chelsea lineup then. Plenty of experience, even with those absentees. We're expecting Melanie Leopold's to play in the heart of a, a three-player defence tonight alongside Carter and Wardlaw. Ji So Yun, who didn't play against Arsenal, gets her first action of pre-season. The good news, that injury that took Penilla harder off in that game against Arsenal early on was not a serious one. So she's able to start, and it's a big night, the biggest night of all, really, for anybody out there, for Erin Cuthbert, who used to play on this pitch, was in the Rangers Academy before she moved to Glasgow City. This is something that she's really going to be looking forward to. It's almost like it's a friendly for everybody but Erin, basically. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think she's, yeah, she's going to be buzzing and looking forward to playing this game. I think obviously her family are going to be there too, I'm sure. So I'm sure we'll hear them screaming for Erin. In terms of names you might know, from the Rangers side. Tess Midag used to play for Manchester City and uh, West Ham in the Super League, as did Jane Ross, vastly experienced Scotland international. They're the two standout names, I would say. Lizzie Arnott as well was previously at Manchester United. But it's uh, a blend, really, of youth and experience. Very, very inexperienced bench that Rangers have got tonight. Let's see what Chelsea can do. So we're thinking 3-4-3 three, three then uh, for Chelsea. Katie, have you got a particular eye on in, in terms of looking to impress ahead of the, the kickoff for the WSL? 
Um, I think, you know, I think everyone's got to try and earn their places as well within this team. You know, pre-season's about that. It's about putting your foot, making your mark and, you know, hopefully fighting for a position to play. So, you know, it's head down and get the job done. Yeah, that's the opportunity afforded to those who haven't been away at the Olympics. So the likes of Bethany England will be thinking that uh, she can stake a claim to start the season. And just got a free kick in a half decent position here. Drew Spence with the foul. That's oh, a good effort as well. And Berger had to get fingertips to it to touch it over the crossbar. Yeah, good early first opportunity for Rangers. I think, you know, it gives them confidence having that early opportunity. Good, good. See what they can do from the subsequent set piece. Berger called into action early on. Save she would have expected to make. Without wishing to patronise Rangers, you think that set pieces might be a most likely source of a goal for them here. So I'm sure they've been working on their corners. Maybe not. Easy one for Berger to catch that one. Quickly looking to get Chelsea moving forward as well. Here is Aaron Cuthbert. Emma Hayes barking the instructions out already. It's a full touch from the defender and it might lead to an early opportunity for Chelsea to take the lead or maybe get a penalty. Instead it's a goal kick. G asking the question and Kuro Wrighton in disbelief that she didn't get the penalty she was looking for. No, I think it might have been a little bit harsh to give a penalty in that situation. I think she got through and she's just lost her feet as she went between the two defenders. Yeah, classic example of a, a footballer not wanting to look embarrassed at the fact that they just fell over, I think. <laughs> I think you can hear from Emma, she wants a high tempo in this game. She's, she's encouraging them to get forward quickly and transition quite quickly. And is that as much about building fitness as it is a tactic in the game at, at this stage? Because I guess it can be kind of easy to walk your way through a pre-season game but not be at 100% oh, of course it is you can keep the ball can't you at various stages and it can move quite slowly so I think yeah again you're up the pitch quite quickly everyone has to join in it's Le Bowles move on out right side Georgia Fox working it back to Carter nice opportunity for Chelsea to try three at the back not something we've seen very often it's hardest ball down the line for Georgia Fox. Plenty of time to measure her cross. It was a good one as well. And Chelsea again, close to taking the lead. That time it was Cuthbert with the effort. Yeah, really good ball into the box there from Fox. I think she, she looked up and actually picked out a pass, which is great. She didn't just whip it in. I'm sure Aaron would have loved to have scored that one. <laughs> yeah, she will be doing everything she can to get a goal back on her old pitch. Test for Carter's pace here. She's able to easily shepherd it behind. Playing in the back three tonight, Jess Carter. Just shows her versatility, doesn't it? It's what makes her such a valuable member of the Chelsea squad. Yeah, I think versatility is massive within the game. You know, it gives you more opportunity to play. He goes right in. It's a fantastic run. She's still going. Decent cut back too. Oh, it should have been 1-0, but it cannons off the bar from Drew Spence. That was a little bit too easy, wasn't it, for Brighton to get through there. I think that run came a long, long way for a lot of players. I mean, she's difficult for anybody to keep pace with when she's in full flight like that, Guerrero Wrighton. I think my choice would have been outside of the box, and that would have been my, my challenge. Take her down, take the card. Emma encouraging the press there, you know, not to let them breathe and play easily. Something we got a real insight into last season because there were no supporters in the stadiums. In the Champions League games, a couple of examples of that that went viral. And one back by Fox. Jenna Fife is the Rangers goalkeeper tonight. Good 
good positioning from Fox to get it back to Berger. It's going to be a good challenge for that back three, isn't it? Not natural back three in any form or fashion, but somebody like Jane Ross, who's a really canny kind of player. Yeah, She's of ask course. Questions. Yeah, but I think if you look, you know, you've got Jess Carter there, who's, who's a natural defender anyway, and I think you play a right back, centre back, left back. I think she's played. You've got Melanie Leopold's in there, that's, you know, naturally a midfielder. But I know my day, I played at centre back for England and used to play at midfield for club. So I used to be able to change between the two because it's quite central. Good to making sure Chelsea stay on the ball, even if she has to go all the way back. I think Rangers need to just get their foot on the ball a little bit and keep it for a little while, you know, gain some confidence in this game. I think they're, you know, trying to go forward too quickly. Here's Carter. I'm just happy for Chelsea to have the ball in this kind of area. Wardlaw's touch was heavy, managed to move it on to Wrighton. Is up against Harder. Charlotte, well done. Slightly different role for her as well, isn't it, from where we used to see in Penilla Harder playing kind of wide left rather than just supporting the strikers? Yeah, I think, you know, she's probably had to adapt a little bit coming into the Chelsea team because we've got so many really good players, you know, and it's not about one player in the team, it's about all of them. So, you know, she has to adapt to the team. Carter managing to find Cuthbert. That's a lovely flick for England. Trying to make an angle for a shot, Bethany England. Couldn't quite keep it down. Chelsea creating chances in the opening minutes here. Yeah, they should have had a goal by now. Um, you know, it's been great opportunities for them. You know, get your head over it, keep it down, and it's a goal. I just heard Emma, Emma say, keep it in the golden zone. Do you know where the golden zone is? I'm That's sort of in, the yeah, in the yeah, yeah. Of course, <laughs> that is the golden zone, yeah. <laughs> and the goal's the goal. The goal is the gold. <laughs> He's good, though. Slide across, watch the game. Get across, though. Get across, Chantel. Me watch Chantel, get across. They're not as, as aggressive as I thought they'd be, Rangers. I thought they'd be more aggressive than this. Don't want to say showing Chelsea too much respect, but a little bit standoffish. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes when you're chasing the ball the whole time, it's really, really hard. So I think they need to, yeah, get tighter and press harder and gain the ball for a little period. Is she gone back to black this season? Shock of blonde we saw last term. Spence switching play with a lovely pass. Well, right and hadn't quite timed her run right. a banter between the two coaches on the touchline. Malky Thompson said, please stop killing us in the wide area. <laughs> right it. Up again. Spence, effort trying to get Chelsea back on the ball. It's better from Rangers. Yeah, a little bit more aggressive there in the press. And they managed to win the ball. McCoy chasing the cause, which proved to be a lost one. Jamaica International starting up front for Rangers tonight. Ready, drop, slide. 
Oh, no, Paul's got lucky there. I should say she meant that one two off Ross. Yeah, one two. Here's she. A lovely range of passing that she's got right onto the toe of Georgia Fox. England couldn't turn to get the shot off, so she laid it off for Spence. Reflected and looping behind for another corner. There's a lot of space, a lot of time on the ball Chelsea have got. I think, you know, Rangers, to stay in the game, they need to press harder and not give her that much time. Right into it, swing it over. Not her best delivery. Carter. Possession's been almost totally Chelsea's in the opening 12 minutes. Right in the game. She was fouled that time. Yeah, the space is definitely out on the on the outsides. You know, they're getting a lot of joy down the sides. Fox has had a couple down the right side, and obviously Wrighton's made a couple of runs down that side Drew, too. Drew, make sure Ez isn't running into Guru's line. Yeah, she's running and taking a defender into her space. Stop, 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 back in. Come right in, come right in, Jack. Look up. Right and there. clipped it over. Good header to keep it away from uh, England in the middle. Ross, good hold up play. Need some help though. It's really impressive from the Rangers centre forward. She's got a lot of experience. She's, she's good at that. She's good at holding up the ball. She's got some great goals as well. Just 136 caps for Scotland for Jane Ross. Chelsea, Chelsea. If you're confused as to why the Rangers manager is shouting Chelsea, one of the midfielders for Rangers is Chelsea Cornet. So that's why. They've also got Sam Kerr in their team, but not our one. There's Carter slipping one into the channel for Cuthbert. Defending from Swaby, it's a goal kick as well. Really good defending, just to stand her ground there, just yeah, stay tight to Erin and not let her get past. You see Erin's frustration there. Drop on Chelsea, drop on Lizzie. Drugs, drugs, you want that? Come on then. It's Wardlaw, just 18 years old. Played uh, centre back against Arsenal a couple of weeks ago. She's an England under 18 international. It's great to see the younger players playing and doing really, really well, you know, and gaining that experience because there's nothing better than getting experience. Especially in different systems as well, I guess. You know, you don't want to be just playing the same way all the time. So she's gone from a, a four to a three tonight. Yeah, and it's good to it's good to learn it. It's good, you know, to adapt and and be part of obviously this team with with the quality as well within the Chelsea team to help her, you know, progress and move forward. Chelsea having all things all their own way in every aspect by the most important one, but staying patient for now. What is it? Get across, get across. Chantel, take, hold it. 
Spence forced to go all the way back to Anne Catherine Berger. I think Chelsea have got to make sure that, you know, with all the dominance they've got, that we don't then take our foot off the pedal and we start turning the ball over, you know, because we haven't got a goal yet. So we've got to keep the pace up. Carter. He's Fox. It's a really good run. Great ball as well in England. Just couldn't quite stretch for it. Right and sends it back over though. And that's Cuthbert's header. Goalkeeper will tell you you should have saved that had it been on target. Yeah, just a little bit sloppy from Chelsea around the box. Um, you know, they haven't got that goal yet. And sometimes you worry when they have chance after chance and they're not putting one in, you know, is it really going to come? Came off his shoulder as much as anything, I think, that for Cuthbert. Fox has done really well trying to pick players out in the box as well, you know, not, not just putting a ball in the box for the sake of it, she's trying to pick players out. Really trying to avoid some dreadful fox in the box pun, but I think it's just <laughs> inevitable, isn't it? It's going to happen at some point. Maybe she needs yes, to be in the box. Here's Lerpols. Be her second full season as a Chelsea player. First one wasn't bad. It's good from Harder. And he's right in. England was the target. Defender got the first header in. Picked up by Fox. Yeah, that was a good combination down that left hand side by Wrighton and Harder to get the ball into the box. Silly foul. It's not needed. The defender was just waiting for the challenge, knew it was going to come. It's Doherty who takes the free kick. To one of the many Scotland internationals in this Rangers team. Been back last year, having been at Glasgow City for a couple of years. Rangers looking to close the gap on not just Glasgow City but also Celtic as well. And they finish third behind in the league. Oh, that's a short one. Opportunity for Rangers to get the first goal here. Berger's doing all she can to stop it happening, but surely it's going to go in. Indeed, it is. It's Rangers who score first here. A real mix up at the back for Chelsea. Look for a moment as though Berger was going to be able to keep it out, but eventually turned in for the opening goal. And for all the dominance that Chelsea have had in these opening stages, it's Brogan Hay who gets the first goal of the game to make it Rangers 1, Chelsea 0. Yeah, I think we had that conversation, didn't we, about taking a foot off the pedal, you know, having the dominance of the ball and creating chances and not scoring. And they've gone and scored down the other end. That's always the risk. Well, you wouldn't expect Rangers to be particularly attacking from this point now. They are going to look to hold on to what they have. Well, they always say if you're going to make some mistakes, make them in pre-season, and that was very un chelsea like defending. Yeah, it was, and you know, we all make mistakes, um, and I'm sure they'll, you know, continue to keep their keep going and keep their heads up, and you know, they, I'm sure they'll get the goal back. He's right. <laughs> There's the immediate reply from Penilla Harder. Well, that might be seconds between the goals, never mind minutes. Chelsea back on terms straight away. Harder planting her header beyond Jenna Fife. Excellent play in the wide areas again. That time it was Wrighton's delivery and Harder 
up above Doherty, and it's 1-1. Yeah, good finish, and I'm sure that's a response Emma Hayes would want from her team. Straight back in it. Okay, Told it was one minute, 25 seconds between each goal. What does that do to you if your range just, just takes the wind out of your sails entirely, doesn't it? Oh, it did. They didn't have long to celebrate, did they, really? Um, being ahead before Chelsea got back into it. I'm sure they were surprised that they got the goal. Um, you know, they didn't expect the mistake, but that's football. Don't make Chelsea angry. You won't like them when they're angry. Here's Lepos. Get across, yes, Lizzie. Slide right across, good Lizzie. Good. Chelsea, slide across. Slide across, Chelsea, help her out. Go on. Good. Keep it in front of you. Keep the game in front of you. Well done. Look for your opportunity. Keep it in front of you. Yes, Lizzie. Yes, Lizzie. Go get across, Chantel. Get across. That's the one. ball over the top was nice. England trying to make room for a cross. The Fox has picked it up. They done really well there, Chelsea, keeping the ball. I think they were trying to find a gap. Um, it was a nice ball, yeah, over by Carter, over the top to Beth England. Clever ball into Cuthbert, who picked up a good position. Again, Chelsea wants a penalty, right, and sweeps it back over, though. Referee had a good view of that and said no. Yeah, I'm unsure with that one. Didn't really see what, you know, what contact there was. Midway point of the first half, if you're just joining us, you've just missed the goals. Hay had Rangers ahead, but less than a minute and a half later, Vanilla Harder headed in the equaliser. Just enough on that pass from Liverpool to find Fox. Chelsea making them do a lot of defending, shifting across. It's hard when you're chasing the ball. So with a big switch. Foul on Spencer give Chelsea the free kick. Jonathan's armband tonight, Drew Spence. She might be one of those who will benefit from the fact that uh, others have been away, so she would uh, get a start in the first game or two of the season, she'll be hoping. Yeah, definitely. Drew, Drew's a great player. You, you know you know what you get from Drew, and she's been at Chelsea for a long, long time. You know, she's one of the long-standing Chelsea players, so I'm, I'm happy for her that she's got the captain's armband too. She 200 appearances for the club last season. It's going to be a Chelsea corner. Yeah, it worked it short. Be another corner. Come 
I think the short one went and then she put it back on Sarah's left foot and she wanted it on her dominant right foot. Stumped over by Cuthbert that time. Good header to get it away. Managed to get it totally clear yet, though. I was just going to say the same thing that Emma said. Good decision to hold on to it. There wasn't a pass that was on, you know, don't rush it. Pinch it back here. He's unselfish in laying it off, but didn't realise that Harder was offside. Yeah, good win there by Drew Spence. She read, she read the pass and nicked the ball. But unfortunately, yeah, Harder's just offside. Again, Ross using her experience to keep the ball away from Carter there. England. Feels for handball given. Not sure how much there was that the defender could have done about that, but the referee had the best view in the house and he says penalty. Oh, that's harsh, isn't it? My goodness me, that's really, really harsh against really Brianna Westrup. Yeah, it just popped up, didn't it? It hit her hand. I don't think she'd done anything about it. Harder's not complaining. She sends the goalkeeper the wrong way for her second goal of the evening. And Chelsea have the lead for the first time on the night. Good penalty by Harder. I don't think would have cut that out even if she'd gone the right way. Spence nearly managed to get it back. Time, Ross wasn't allowed to hold it up. Then offloaded it. He goes right in again. Open up, Chantel, yeah. Pulls it back to it. Good. Up. Up. That's better defending by Rangers. Definitely. Well done, Jean. Step in if you can. Pop it again. Pop it again. Pull her out. Good. Good. That's better. G with what we'll call a pre-season pass. <laughs> we heard the scream as soon as she kicked it. She knew it was going the wrong direction. That 
to the range as Sam Kerr is going to take the throw. Keeper came and didn't get there. England's been forced wide though. Plenty of options in yellow to try and pick out. Look for Fox. Got something on it. She might pick up the scraps. It's too easy though, I think, for, for Chelsea to get through. I mean, the passes are just, you know, splitting the defenders. It's too easy to get in. But I think also Beth took too much time maybe to put that, that cross into the box, you know. Slowed the tempo down. And from Doherty. Not sure what the best option is. Decides to just wallop it up through the middle. Fife having to come a long way from home again. She was decisive that time. I think it's a lot of running, obviously, for, for Rangers forwards as well there. You know, trying to press the ball and your, your team's not behind you. So the gaps become really, really big. And it's hard work. It looks like they're trying to protect the central areas, but you know, not with any real aggression or pressing the ball. So it's really, really easy to break the lines and obviously to get down the sides is really easy. Here they go again. Right and feeding it early for England. England going herself, good save from five first time and second time too. Flag is up over on this uh, near side. Fife having made the first good save might have hoped that one of her defenders would have come across and helped her out and then she might not have needed to make the second one. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, you know, Beth probably should have scored from there. You know, her quality, she should have finished it. But, you know, as you say, it's a pre-season game. Well done, you see. Well done, you see. Good. Heavy touch from Wardlaw. One of those fouls that was born of necessity, really. Yeah, I think she's had that heavy touch a couple of times over that. When she got away with, I think, the first one challenge. But yeah, sometimes it's, you know, you've got to sort of either hold up or you're going to go through and, and, and give the foul. Good talk, good talk. Can we get both bodies around that? Get Sam, walk around. with the foul on Fox. Good, Jane. Entice it, Jane. 
Taste it, Jim. Taste that. Get across. Work game from Fox, having an impressive first half. Tish, she's done well up and down that line. I mean, you just see her defending. Now she's higher up the pitch as well, winning the ball. Good energy. Fortuitously, from Cuthbert into the path of Fox. Property going long. Lovely turn from Cuthbert. Property trying her best to keep up with that. Cuthbert got the crossover though. Is she? Spence switching it again to Wrighton. Oh, I'm not sure that Fox was expecting that to come to her. Yeah, I don't think she see it till last minute. Fox went with her left. They just need to keep it for a bit now, keep it moving, but keep it moving with quality and pace. Don't slow it down. Half time not too far away. Chelsea having come from behind to lead here. Harder. Up against Arnott, who defended it well at the expense of a corner. Yeah, stopped hard again to cross into the box. Good defending. Still time to get a first half hat trick for the two time UEFA Women's Player of the Year. was a risky one to say the least but went over the bar rather than under it much the relief of Doherty it's one of them I think that comes in so quickly you don't quite connect to it you're not sure where it's going you're just hoping it goes over the goal or away from the goal right and send that one in Flurry of corners as we head toward half time here. Chelsea up to six for the game. Get up! Get out! Get out! Cuthbert had a good angle for the ball in second time round. Had a Spence, the wrong side of the post as far as Chelsea are concerned. Chelsea, 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 spread, 
Yeah, the defender then made it difficult, didn't she, for Spence to get anything on that. It's a really clever touch. Here's Doherty. Cut back inside, away from Fox. Came from a long way back and read it perfectly. Yeah, nice little play. Bit of play there by Rangers. Kept the ball nicely. Created an opportunity. Oh, goalkeeper almost Stand caught out. out by the miss hit cross from right in. There was only one in the box, and I think it was only Beth that was in the box. Turn the lights on. Loose touch from Spence. And that was a little bit of Jane Ross using her experience there. Back up, back up. Cheat. Nice one, two from the South Korean. He's Fox. Keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. 18. Yes, there I go. Good, yeah. Oh, so playing that into a good area for England. Cuthbert. Left shoulder, Chantel. Oh, she clipped in a beautiful ball. Good defending as well from Chantel Swaby to knock it behind for yet another Chelsea corner. Yeah, because that could potentially have been a harder opportunity. Carter. 
be interesting to see what the possession stats are in this first half because we've had a lot of the ball, Chelsea. And Rangers, I'm sure, will have been anticipating that would be the case, but it doesn't stop it being very tiring for them. No, absolutely. Chasing the ball is hard. Is that for an entertaining first half at the Rangers training centre? Chelsea found themselves behind on 90 minutes after a defensive mix up, but two goals from Penilla Harda, one of them a pretty soft penalty, it must be said, meaning that the Blues do have the lead here in this pre season friendly in Glasgow. At half time, the score is Glasgow Rangers 1, Chelsea 2. Let's have a look back then at how the First 45 minutes unfolded. Rangers on the front foot from the off. This is a pretty routine save in the end from the free kick, Katie. Yeah, for Berger it is. I mean, she's a world-class goalkeeper, you know, but it was nice of them to get it on target and she put it over the bar. Chelsea were trying to get into their pattern. Rangers didn't let them do it right from the off, but once the Blues got moving, they created plenty of chances. Nice cutback from Fox there. And Cuthbert couldn't quite steer it on target. Yeah, Aaron would be really disappointed with that. It should have been a goal. I mean, look at the space out here for Fox. I think she gets her head up and she finds the pass. It should have been a goal. And you'd say the same about this opportunity as well. Drew Spence seen her effort come back off the crossbar but it was at this point that it became apparent that it was the wide areas where Chelsea were going to have a lot of success. Yeah, absolutely, getting balls into the box. You know, that's one that you don't need to hit that hard. You just need to place it in the goal and I'm sure she'll be disappointed with that. Excellent run from Wright and he just tore through the Rangers' defence. So it was all Chelsea at this stage. Could and should have been in front. But actually found themselves behind. What happened here with the defending, Katie? Obviously, the ball back from Jess. I think, you know, it was a little bit composed. I think it was too composed, you know, and I'm not sure what Melanie Leopold was doing there. I don't know if she couldn't see the player behind her, or and obviously it looked like she slipped as well um, to give him that opportunity. So that was young Brogan Hay. Rangers in dreamland at this point, but it wouldn't last for long. Leopold's playing at centre half, not a usual position, bit of miscommunication and the second go. They managed to calmly slot it in, but what a minute and 25 seconds later, Chelsea were back level. Nicely worked goal as well. Yeah, and a good header. It was a perfect ball, wasn't it, into the box for Benilla to head it in. A player with that quality, you know, you're hoping she's going to finish that. Right, and such so much joy down that left hand side in the first half. And Chelsea would go into the break with a lead, but I'm still scratching my head and wondering, Katie, how this was possibly giving us a penalty. Yeah, harsh, really harsh one. I don't think she could do anything about it. Popped up obviously off the defender's foot onto her hand, but. You know, we've seen all sorts of penalties given. And as there is no VAR, <laughs> what the ref's seen is what he's given. It was harder who slotted it away perfectly. Yeah, no doubt about harder finishing that penalty. Top Two goals quality seven there. minutes for her. Bethany England looking to re-establish her credentials with Kerr and Kirby having taken all the headlines last season. She'll feel she should have scored with one of those two chances. Yeah, I mean, she was lucky she got the second opportunity, really, and you'd hope she would have put it in the goal, but, you know, great save by the keeper. Oh, 
So what will Emma's assessment of the first half have been, do you think? I think good. I mean, they've dom dominated possession. They've obviously created chances. You'll want them to score more goals, I'm sure, you know, and, and finish the chances that they've had. Um, and probably move the ball a bit quicker. I think, you know, it is pre-season and it's a pre-season game. You know, you get out of it what you put in. And I think sometimes it's, it's fitness and, you know, working on just little bits, whether it's personal stuff or whether it's team stuff and, and getting the best out of, out of the team. And in terms of minutes, it's, it's not a massive bench tonight, just four players on it, in fact, most of those inexperienced. But, but I'm guessing the likes of G and Leupold, who we didn't see against Arsenal, they're unlikely to play 90 tonight, aren't they? Yeah, probably. I think, you know, the season's starting soon, isn't it? So, you know, you want to protect as well them a little bit going into the season. And obviously give the youngsters the opportunity in this pre-season games as well to get that experience and, and, you know, experience these kind of games and this atmosphere. Great stuff from Tony and Kai. They've already got their first silverware of the season, of course. And here we're just waiting for the second half to get underway. This is how Rangers took the lead, if you missed it. I'm not sure that uh, Chelsea will want to see this goal again. It didn't take them long to get back level. A minute and 25 seconds after Rangers went in front, Penilla Harder headed in the equaliser. And then Harder converted from the penalty spot after a penalty which probably shouldn't have been, well, not probably, it definitely shouldn't have been given. There was absolutely nothing that Westrup could have done about that. But Harder wasn't asking any questions. She was too busy putting the penalty away. Plenty coming up on the fifth stand this week. Got Thomas Tuchel's press conference ahead of Saturday's Premier League opener against Crystal Palace. That takes place on Friday. The press conference, the game, kicks off at 3 o'clock on a Saturday. Would you believe it? For Chelsea's first game of the season, all our build-up on Match Day Live. A new look Match Day Live starts from 5 to 2 in the afternoon. Promises to be an exciting day. Good way to start the season, actually, Katie, isn't it? With a with a London derby, three o'clock Saturday kickoff. It almost feels like normal football again. Oh yeah, always. I think yeah, it'd be nice to you know see fans back and see football, yeah, and hear the crowd again. Um, I'm sure the players on the pitch can't wait for that. Well, Penilla Hard will be hoping that she's out there long enough to get her hat trick. Probably see something similar to what we saw against Arsenal, albeit not in the quantities, but substitutes around about the hour mark, you would think? Yeah, possibly. I think, yeah, there's obviously only four substitutes there. So, yeah, I think there will be changes in this game. Chelsea do have another pre-season friendly against Aston Villa at Kings Meadow. That's on Friday, the 26th of August. Remember, 5th of September, Sunday. No surprise that Chelsea Arsenal's been picked for TV coverage. It's a 12.30 kickoff. And got Everton, Manchester United, Brighton and Leicester, most of those games televised. Do you used to do much of this before the second half on pitch warm-ups? Yeah, it's just sort of to get yourself going again. You know, you've been sitting in the changing room um, just to come out and get your body ready again to go and get your brain switched on. I guess Malky Thompson will say, look, you, you managed to force a mistake out of them once. Just keep trying and try and keep things a little bit tighter at the back. Although that's easier said than done, of course. Yeah, then they just need to get a little bit higher up the pitch. I think anything that's going forward, you know, it's hard for the forwards to either get hold or keep hold of because there's no one to join in. Or, you know, any balls just going back to the, the Chelsea back line and they're able to build again. So they need to just keep hold of it a little bit, but keep it and move it with pace, not too slowly, because obviously Chelsea are pressing quite high quite quickly. Going to be Chelsea to get things going in the second half then. Leading by two goals to one. Rangers kick off their league season a day before Chelsea. They play 4 far Farmington. Try saying that three times quickly. Uh, they got the better of them in the league last season, to put it mildly. 15-0 on aggregate over the two games. I mentioned they've already played in the Scottish Cup this season. He's right in. Now harder. Go 
This is outside spaces. Look how many bodies in the centre of the pitch. You know, they're really, really narrow. And from right, and you think that would have been one of the main thrusts of the team talk at half time, wouldn't it? Because that's where so many of the chances came from. Well, it seems like they want to protect, obviously, the central area, but they've also got to put pressure on the ball because the ball's the danger. It might just be that the shift the cross is not quick enough. Good Sam! Good Sam! Here's Wrighton. Harder played it across. Chance for a third goal here, maybe. Just a bit shot. She was unable to get the power on it she was looking for. Rangers did make a change at half time, by the way. Zoe Ness on for Kayla McCoy. Uh, Scotland International is Ness. It's a straight swap up front for them. Keep looking about you. Keep looking about you. Keep the get. No gaps. Tessel, no gaps. Back four, no gaps. No gaps. No pulse. Keep it that side. Keep it that side. Right in. Double up, Brogan. Okay, calm, calm, calm. Well done. Good. Keep, keep it. Joy, pull, Joy, go to the ball. Here is Ness. Good, Joy. That's a great challenge from uh, Wardlaw. Keep it. Yes, putting the pressure on Carter, but you'd never know it. Moving the ball a little bit quicker there. See how they managed to progress forward quite quickly. And yeah, Jess Carter's pace. I'm not sure she's going to beat Jess in a race. She's really quick. Right in. Fed it down the line beautifully for Harder. And the cutback was deflected. And for a moment, it looked as though it might be an own goal. In the end, it was safely through to Jenna Five. Yeah, she took the pace off the ball a little yes, bit, didn't she? To Lizzie, it. Sam. Yes, Lizzie, Sam. England. Is that loose ball going to drop? Right in trying to bring it under her control, or Fox rather. And the snapshot from the edge of the box is off the post. And luckily for Fife and for Rangers, it fell to a blue shirt rather than a yellow one. Cuthbert still hasn't got her goal back on her old patch. Yeah, it's not quite happening for Erin at the moment. I'm sure it'll come.
Well, there were some envious glances cast down south from, from the Scottish women's football scene at, at the money that's been put into the English game. It's the sort of thing they can only dream of, isn't it? And you can, you can kind of see the difference in the quality of the teams and obviously the, the level of financial backing is a big factor in that. Yeah, of course it is. But you look at it, it's taken a long time for the English game to get to where it's got to. So, you know, I think an investment's obviously been put into Rangers as well, haven't they, to, to use their facilities and, and, you know, and progress the team. Hence, they've obviously signed a lot of, you know, new players um, over the last couple of seasons. So, you know, it will continue to progress. Unfortunately, it just takes a bit of time. You need the league to back you, but more than that, you need the club to back you as well, don't you? Which is what we're seeing start to happen here, but what has been happening at Chelsea for a good decade or more now. Yeah, absolutely, they're just behind and, you know, and I hope that they get to that point. Rangers looking for an equaliser here. It was uh, Nesta substitute and Berger had to be brave to get there. I think just a lack of concentration sometimes from Chelsea, you know, sometimes in games like this, it becomes quite easy. You dominate the ball, you know, and you lose concentration because they, you're not really under any pressure. But we can't afford to be sloppy. Just pulled out of it at the last minute there, Ness, didn't she? Yeah, and that was just from a quick throw down the line. Switch out for right and, and plenty of time for her to bring that down. Let it down the line for harder. She just a little bit on her heels there. Good defence to nick it from her. Yeah, they've combined quite nicely down here, right and harder. And this left hand side. it quicker from her team I think there is a few too many touches you know in the middle of the park because the outlet is the opposite side so I think okay. if you do that quicker you know then you're in Chelsea you're on the back foot up. Chelsea 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 get a centre box packing up right in that's another good ball more good link up with harder this is Bethany England and that was a good block two Rangers defenders in the way she No flag here against England. She floating one in. Oh, 
Yeah, Chelsea just need to keep the ball, just be patient, you know, and open up the gaps because they are defending quite heavily central in central areas, you know, and they need to find need to movement and find gaps. What's it all, Sam? That's clever from Spence, good hit as well. And an equally impressive save from Jenna Five. Good strike by Drew. I think, yeah, she opened up, she managed to roll her and strike. Good save by the keeper. Yeah. Corner clipped in this time, flicked on two. Game five able to make the stop. I don't think Leopold knew too much about that. No, I think by the smile on her face running back said that. Almost came through for Harder, has come through for Bethany England. And Fife's there again. She's the difference at the moment, isn't she, the Rangers goalkeeper? She is a difference. She made some great saves. I think, you know, Beth would be disappointed with that as well. You know, she's got a good connection with the ball. And, you know, it's a good height for the keeper. It's sort of at her, you know, pick your corners, keep it low or, or really, really high. Cuthbert's delivery headed away at the near post, but it will come straight back to her. Right in. Here's England. She got the way to pass right. Oh, not quite. Again, Fife in pressing. So much space out on this left hand side. It's just too easy to play down the line and balls through. Wait up, Chelsea. Chelsea, go on. Drop. Chelsea, drop. Chelsea, drop. Spencer's ball forward, here's Harder. Didn't find room for a shot, so she moved it on. Three, pack up, Chantel, pack up! Woodlock. Across, Bree! Chelsea need to keep the tempo as well. I think, you know, they were allowing them to shift the cross and fill the gaps. You know, we need to keep being sharp with our movement, moving the ball quickly. And obviously the out we've said is the the, the outsides. Here they come again with Harder. Got a bit desperate for the ball to be cut back to her on the penalty spot. And it's the final bits, isn't it? It's the final decisions and, you know, probably Harder's decision then to take the shot was probably the wrong one, considering there was two in the box. That's a pre-season oh. thing as well, isn't it, a lot of the time? Just getting your mind switched back on. Uh-huh. Good keeper. Find the areas, Keep the ball. 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 Keep the 
Looking for the switch that worked so well in the first half. Right, and asking Cuthbert to chase, which she'll do all night. Going for goal. <laughs> She's desperate, isn't she? She is. She wants that goal. She'll be trying everything for the next half hour. Do you know what? Sometimes I think it's you don't try too hard. That's what I think she's trying to do. She really, really wants that goal. You know, I think if she just stays and plays the way she usually plays, it will come. If you missed the first half, she's back where it all began, Erin Cuthbert. Started her career training with Rangers before she moved to Glasgow City and then to Chelsea. I remember her coming to Chelsea as well. I was like, wow, you know, a great young talent come in. And I used to call her the little terrier because she was at everyone's heels all of the time. <laughs> He's harder. Right, and it's going to keep this in play. She knows she'll settle for the corner instead. <laughs> Don't really need me and Katie. <laughs> We've got Malky Thompson and <laughs> Anna Hayes doing the commentary. <laughs> Keep it facing back of it. Keep it facing this way. Good. Good luck. I'm going to go to it. No crosses. Right in. I think it's hard. Look how many blue bodies there are in the box, you know, to try and find, find a yellow body in there. They're defending really, really hard. I'm sure there are some amongst the 400 tonight who didn't expect Rangers to be this in the game at this stage of it. Not exactly threatening at the other end, but managing to keep Chelsea at bay. And it's only a penalty that shouldn't have been given, which is separating the teams at the moment. Yeah, exactly. I think if you look at the scoreline, you say close game if you just tuned in. They are good. Back what a graceful. Chelsea. Right shoulder, Chelsea. Yes, head to the box. Oh, that didn't miss by much. Okay. Fife, I think, did have it covered. Fox it was who had the shot. Well, Rangers would be quite happy if they're keeping Chelsea to efforts from this kind of range, though. Yeah, absolutely. I think you'd take that, wouldn't you? I think, and, you know, the form the keeper's in at the minute. Twenty-five to go. Here's an opportunity for Rangers to have a go. Oh, well, now the inquest begins as to why it wasn't squared back, but thoroughly entitled to have a shot from that kind of position with Sam Kerr. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she's done really well to get there. Just sort of tried to dive in and she went round her. Um, yeah, good effort. It didn't look like it was far away. Chelsea just can't afford to be too relaxed, you know, it is a pre-season game, but you also don't want to lose a game, or you don't want to draw a game, you always want to win, and I think, you know, you need to get out of the game what you need to get out of it, but, you know, still play with pride. England. Difficult ball for Cuthbert to control. Go on, 
drop down. Go and drop down, Harley. Jenna, Jenna. Go on, Jenna. Jenna. Play or not? I know, your choice, but play. Let's play. Up, oh, we need to be up. We need to be up. Two gaps, too many gaps. Up. Burger didn't really want that there. It was a long oh, way out. Oh. Yep, go again, just see way out. A couple of signs of encouragement for Rangers in the last few minutes. Yeah, there has been, but I think it's just through sloppy play, you know, from Chelsea and, you know, not keeping the tempo up and giving them that opportunity. Maybe a few tired legs and minds out there now. She. Spence, oh, a lovely way to pass for G. Almost broke for Cuff, but another nearly moment for her. I think G needed to be selfish in that moment. I think that was an opportunity for her to take that. Lovely ball through by Drew. Keep it, keep it, keep moving it. Keep moving it. Pass it, yes, Sam. Sam, Zoe. Do you know, these games are also really hard when you're dominating the ball so much. It's hard, you know, to keep your tempo and to keep yourself in it and to concentrate all of the time, but you have to. Go on, go on, Sam. Go on, do it up. Do it. Come on, get up. Good set. Three wrong side, three, three. Space again three. for right and put it in first time. Well done, good breathe. Well, England couldn't quite stretch for it. Yeah, just a little bit too far in front of Beth. Chelsea moving through the gears again. Oh, right at the back post. And more by luck than judgment that time. Fife and her defence managed to get in the way of it. Really impressed by Fox. Lively, really lively out on that side and put some great balls into the box. And, you know, Brighton, I think, should have finished that one. Chelsea up to 11 in terms of corners. Flicked on. Still plenty forward from the corner here. Maybe a little bit soft. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as soft as the penalty. Cuthbert. <laughs> Always going over. Tennis! It? Changes coming up for Rangers here. <laughs> Tessel Medag and Liziana, the players who are coming off. Demi Vance and uh, Kirsten Riley, I think it is the other player who's come on. 
currently wearing number eight, Demi Vance three. He's uh, just come back actually from a pretty serious knee injury which kept her out for a long time. No Chelsea changes so far, maybe slightly surprising, 20 minutes to go. Yeah, I was hoping that we'd see some changes. Um, clearly she wants to get more out of the players that are on the pitch at the moment. I guess knowing that she's going to have to rely on them for a couple of games at the start of the season. Yeah, and I think because they've been so dominant as well in possession, you know. Harder moving it on. Here's Cuthbert again, and that's England, and that's 3 1. And Chelsea got a bit of breathing space now. Well worked between Harder and Cuthbert in England, and it was the number nine who finished it off. Yeah, good bit of play by, by the three com combining there, and you know, Beth couldn't really miss that. <laughs> and I'm sure she's happy she scored. Nice turn from Harder, Cuthbert unselfish. It's the type of goal that every striker loves to score. Eleven goals in all competitions last season for Beth in England. Self watching on for a, a lot of it. Wright has made a great run here. It's a good ball as well. Five came off a line. Decision's gone Rangers way. Yeah. Defence splitting pass. Just to bounce back off yeah. the arm of England, I think. One right into the referee's nose. A little bit of push there. Three more Chelsea youngsters coming on Emma Thompson and Aggie Beaver Jones, we saw in the game at the Emirates a couple of weeks ago. Kayette came on in that one too. Uh, coming off. So to Wardlaw, he had a good game. Like what we saw from uh, from Beaver Jones and Thompson in particular, didn't we, in that Arsenal game? Yeah, great young players, and it was nice to see him, you know, playing in that in that big occasion as well at the Emirates Stadium, um, and to see him here again to gain some experience going forward. to Wrighton, 15 to play. England and Harder looking for the hat-trick off target that time. 
Rangers looking a little bit tired as well now. Yeah, and he's funny. I mean, they've done a lot of chasing in this game, haven't they? Because Chelsea have dominated the ball a lot. You know, when you're defending all of the time and shifting across the pitch, it's really hard work. Good, Good. well done, Sal. Hand up. Good, enjoy it. Hand up. Go on, keep passing. Take it again, Bree. You can hear the manager there encouraging them to keep doing what they're doing. And obviously, practice what you know what they're they're wanting to do in games and you know just because it's Chelsea don't change the way you play still continue it's you know you're learning and if you can do it under the pressure you know of the Chelsea players then you know you can do it in other games Chelsea can they work it out to your side Rose can we work it this side finish the season in good nick did Rangers won five of their last seven lost the other two to the teams who finished above them Celtic and Glasgow City Chelsea just a one league defeat all season. And that hurt. Real shocker against Brighton, but the response was terrific. Conte Cup secured for the second season in a row and still in last season's FA Cup. They'll play in the quarterfinals of that against Birmingham at the end of September. She can't believe how much time and space she's had tonight, Kuru Wrighton. No, she has out of here. I don't think anyone's been close to her ever. I think she's, yeah, she can get her head down and run. She can pick a pass quite easily. Nothing in the way of support at the moment. Eventually arrived from Kirsten Riley, one of the substitutes. I might remember her from her time at Bristol City a couple of years ago. She's done well there to hold it up, you know, and try and let players get up the pitch to join in. Found throw, I think, given that. Risky but effective switch of play there from Wardlaw. She's done really, really well. She stayed really composed, you know, kept everything quite simple, you know, not, not forced anything or panicked. It can be easy to read too much into pre-season games, but thinking over the two, actually, Wardlaw and Fox have looked as though they're capable of coming into this team and not looking out of place in it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the more they're around it, you know, the more they get familiar with it and, and learn the intensity and the tempo that's expe expected of them. Could be another goal here. Guro right in. Eventually let Thompson have a go. But by that time, Rangers have got enough cover back. I don't know why she didn't shoot then. Just let it go. Difficult to try and scoop it up. Inside the last 10 minutes in Glasgow. Good. Good. 
was a nice ball by Penelope there. Here's England. What can she make of it? Just for a moment, Cuthbert thought that was it. Eva Jones. Oh, and there is a fourth goal. Just about crept in under five. He's been excellent, but she totally misjudged that. And Chelsea put the cherry on top of the cake. And Emma Thompson has a moment to celebrate. Yeah, nice moment there for Thompson. You know, she, she took the opportunity. It was really, really crowded in there. But, you know, I don't think the keeper could see that coming through the crowd. So, you know, she took the opportunity. Oh, a little deflection on it as well, I think. Stop five from getting there, but it was uh, the two, three substitutes combining. Beaver Jones to Gaia. And then Thompson with a little nick on the way through. More changes afoot. Chelsea's final one. We'll see Amelie Derry come on. That triple sub earlier, by the way, it was G. Leopold and Fox who went off. So Drew Spence went into the defence. players are in close attendance got rid of it first time See what she was thinking, just didn't quite come off. Yeah, it's around the little touch to Beth. Wrighton's ball in, it's a good cross as well. Picked up by Beaver Jones. Oh, just over the crossbar. Five just stood and hoped for the best. Just needs to get ahead over the ball, to strike through it. You can't go. Hand on it, play. Come on. Good. Play. Good. Keep moving up. Much better by Rangers. Moving the ball quickly with a bit more intensity. Definitely been a worthwhile exercise for them, hasn't it? 4 1 slightly flatters Chelsea, maybe. The Rangers have given them a game for large parts of it. Yeah, I think, you know, the scoreline for all the dominance Chelsea have had and, you know, the chances they've created. Um, Rangers have done well to, to obviously keep themselves in and around, you know. I'm sure they've worked on a lot of stuff tonight, you know, to progress for their season going forward and, and stuff that they wanted to work on individually and as a team. So I'm sure they've taken a lot from this game. Might be another goal for Chelsea here, though. Andriana. 
just desperate for Erin Cuthbert to get one, aren't we, basically? That'll complete the night. Yeah, it'd be great for her. I'm sure the girls want her to get one, too. Yes, Jenna! 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 Oi, come for that! Go on! It's hanging, you come! It took the corner. Spence got ahead to it. Fife was able to grab it. Yes, Chelsea! Drop! Chelsea, drop! Yeah, they're hard sometimes. Then balls into the box when they're hanging like that, you know, to get any pace on the ball. You've got to try and put the power in it. They definitely had a better spell of possession in the last 10 minutes, probably, Rangers, so I'm sure they're happy with that. It's been a worthwhile okay. workout for both teams, okay. I think. Okay. Step up in the quality of opposition with Villa in the next friendly. I'm just going to make a couple of late changes here to give some of their academy players some minutes. So it was Brogan Hay who got the Rangers goal, which put them in front. There's one of those coming off. It's nice to see like both teams giving the you know the opportunity for their younger players you know to experience this and help them develop in these situations. There's not have much to do in the second half. Rangers using the opportunity to give some of their kids an experience. Not sure how long it's going to last, though. Yeah, they all look very, very young. <laughs> Yes, 
Ness. Get on it. Go on, Kirsten, get on it. Get a touch. I've decided to hit that first time and sliced it. Go on, right at back. Lovely play from Cuthbert. She wants it played back away. It didn't come. Harder. Cuthbert, she was bound to go for it. It was just fading the wrong way. He's just not going to come for her tonight. Had to take the shot on. It was the last act of the game. Chelsea run out convincing winners in the end by four goals to one. And some promising signs for the season ahead. Uh, all in all, the worthwhile exercise, I think, Katie. Yeah, of course. As you say, it's a pre-season game, you know, and I'm sure both teams have taken a lot away from this game of what to work on and what to change. Um, so, yeah, great for both teams. Just one more pre-season friendly to come now for Chelsea, but here they have beaten Rangers by four goals to one. And let's have a look back at how the action unfolded. Rangers had a couple of early opportunities, but Chelsea should have been ahead when Drew Spence hit the crossbar. And this was a great example of the theme of the game, really, Katie, wasn't it? Guro right and running with the ball at her feet and leaving defenders in her way. Yeah, absolutely. She's great at that. She's great at driving with the ball. She's got a, a great left foot as well to put balls into the box. There have been a couple of chances even before this one for England and for Cuthbert. But Spence just put a bit too much on it. Despite Chelsea's dominance, it was Rangers who got the first goal of the game. It came with an assist from the Chelsea defence, though. And the Lerpoles won't look back on this with much fondness. And Brogan Hay eventually, at the second time of asking, was able to punish the mistake. Most un-Chelsea-like, but really an aberration on the night. Yeah, just a, a catalogue of mistakes, really. You know, she was quick to pounce on the second one as well to get, to get it back and finish it. Berger thought she'd done enough. But a minute and 25 seconds later, Chelsea were back level. And again, Wrighton was heavily involved in it. Good leap that from Vanilla Harder. Really good. It's really difficult for the keeper as well because she's so close. When they head it that close, it's hard for the keeper to save it. But yeah, there we said about right and you know putting balls into the box. She always delivers a good ball. And Chelsea were then given the perfect opportunity to go in front, albeit with a big element of luck about it. Handball given there against Westrup. Oh come on, said the Rangers manager, and we kind of thought the same to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really harsh penalty. You know, she couldn't do anything about that, but it's given and you've got to take it. It was Harder who stepped up to take the spot kick and she made no mistake with it. Yeah, left the keeper with no chance. You know, she's really, really good at that. A lot of experience, I'm sure, of taking penalties. into the second half and Erin Cuthbert who was so desperate to score tonight almost did so I saw an effort come back off the post great footwork to set it up maybe without the deflection it would have crept in the bottom corner yeah it might have done I mean yeah she had obviously the pace on the ball when it came for a crowd of players as well so I'm not sure how much the keeper saw of it Rangers didn't create much in the second half, but they did have a good opportunity to equalise here. Berger got her angles just right. Yeah, it was a good opportunity for them, uh, you know, to get a goal. Whether a decision to shoot or to pass it was the right one. But she made a decision. <laughs> Not many people get away from, Kerr, uh, from Carter, but Kerr did it there. Chelsea did score twice more late on, though. Well worked goal this one and a, an easy finish for Bethany England. 
Yeah, I think she had a few opportunities, didn't she, Beth, in this game? And I think she was getting a little bit frustrated. So I think it was nice for her to score that. And it was a great combination play. Just signs of things starting to come together for Chelsea. And then the fourth and final goal of the night came from one of the substitutes, young Emma Thompson. Would uh, complete the scoring with nine minutes to go. Okay, this was a, a well-worked goal too. Thompson knew impressed when she came on against Arsenal. A little bit of luck with this one, wasn't there, with the deflection? Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, she took the opportunity to shoot. She got the half a yard and she took the opportunity to shoot. They say if you don't shoot, you don't score. Nice moment for Emma Thompson then, and that was what finished off the scoring. Rangers won, Chelsea four at full time.